Hey, it's Connor here in Madrid again teaching and I wanted to talk about two ways of approaching life resources or resourcefulness and there's a saying that uh, for me is very powerful which is poverty is not about a lack of resources poverty is about a lack of dreams and a, a resourcefulness comes when you don't see the limitation in what you have of the resources that you have but you start to think about many many and many other paths to get to somewhere where you want to go and for me one of the things that I really see in, in people that, that distinguish between this attitude of looking what do I have and how can I use that versus what do I want and, and how do I begin to bring into my life the resources that allow me to get there is the language that they use someone who, who's stuck in the limited to the resources that I have now tends to speak in a language where they say I have to do this I have to work I have to show up on time I have to get this report done I have to study to get a good grade I have to pass these exams someone who shifts over to this resourcefulness this this looking at the the possibilities tends to speak in a language of I want and and looks at the possibilities that are there in life. And for me, I'll always remember the way that Viktor Frankl stated that you don't find your purpose. Essentially, each human being is asked by life a question. Why are you here? And we get to choose the message of our life. We get to choose the purpose of this life. But we get to choose it by, by looking at what are the, the the dreams, what are the wishes, what are the things, what are the adventures that we want to create in our own life and begin there versus beginning with, with thinking about the limitations, the set of resources that you have right now and it's a difficult switch for many people to switch but to me one of the beginnings is to pay close attention to how often you say I have to do things versus I want to do things. The second I think is looking at the time horizon that you generally use to look at life. If your time horizon is very long term, and for me, I, I tend to say to people that there's only two time horizons that really matter, 30 years into the future and today or this week. 30 years into the future is long enough time that you can have big dreams of the types of projects that you could complete, the types of, of ways that you can really impact the world. A five-year view, you're not going to be able to change the world. You're not going to be able to make a huge difference in five years. But if you can change your view of what can I accomplish over 30 years, how many people can I bring on board to make a difference over 30 years, you can really dream big and really connect in a meaningful way to the types of ways that you can use your life to make a difference. If you're thinking about this year, it's very hard to make big, important, lasting changes in a 12-month or a one-month or in a one-week time horizon. The other time horizon that really matters is, is today and this week because this is where we can take action. This is where we can plant the seeds that begin the processes that lead to 30 years from now. People looking at us and saying, you're so lucky. You're so lucky that this came into your life. But you can look back 30 years ago and know that first you started with what you wanted. You looked at what's possible and only later you you thought well what resources do I have and what resources will I need to make this possibility a reality but for me these two things watch your language have to versus want to and your time horizon how often do you find a way of getting yourself thinking about not just this week this month but thinking about a 30 year or more time horizon so Connor Again, uh, in ESA Madrid, spring is definitely coming. Blue sky, it's starting to warm up here. Hope you're well. Hope you're having a, a great weekend wherever you are. Have a good one.